Thank you so much, uh, Madam. And I find that um, it's an honor and privilege again to be back in this uh, informative program. And uh, today, for you hosting me to this Straight Talk Africa show, it's our pleasure. I'm still energetic enough and um, very confident that uh, Africa, we are changing. And the African youth, we have known where we want to go. And, uh, we know the direction. And we are glad that uh, we have risen up and we are ready to own that development well. And now when you say we, we are ready to own it, you are in Dar es Salaam, you are in the thick of things, yes. to use that expression. Yes. How are you owning it? What are the advantages that you're seeing that youth can capitalize on? And then also I really want to know whether it's equal across the board. Are you all on the same train or you find that there are a lot of youth who are potentially being left behind? Uh, we, we still have challenges, but uh, good enough on the other side that the African youth and especially the East African region, we are now beginning to understand and to know where we are coming from and where we are going. And the African youth voice is beginning to be heard in the international forums and even in international um, uh, infrastructures and uh, international uh, dilemmas. So we. We think that in, 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 in Tanzania and uh, particularly also in, uh, in East Africa, uh, the voice of the youth, that is something to we, we, we are privileged enough to say that we are owning the development wave, that now the governments and stakeholders and uh, business uh, industries, they are beginning to, to, to listen to this voice because mm -hmm. for us we call it the voice of the new economy of Africa because where Africa was and today it's us, our responsibility to take it further. So to that angle, we can say that the voice of the youth is beginning to be heard. But on the other side, we still have challenges that uh, most of the youth who have potentials uh, find that they're left behind. But it's our task now to mobilize ourselves and to, to question our, our systems uh, so that they can put into place the, 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 the youth of Africa who are able to do something different in this continent. And I'm thinking that with this trend, we are heading there. Though we have challenges here and there with our systems, with our policies, but I find that as we are moving on, we will get there. Okay.